Today we're taking a deep dive into the world of electric vehicles. Are they as green as they seem? This burning question has emerged at the forefront of the sustainability and green technology discourse. With electric vehicles or EVs experiencing a surge in interest and popularity, it's important to examine not just their advantages, but also the potential disadvantages tied to their use. Electric vehicles are frequently hailed as the ultimate eco-friendly transportation solution. They're celebrated for their lack of tailpipe emissions, reducing the contribution to air pollution. Yet, to fully grasp the environmental impact of EVs, we must extend our focus beyond just the direct tailpipe emissions. This leads us to a key term in our investigation, indirect emissions. These are the greenhouse gases emitted during the whole life cycle of the vehicle, encompassing the vehicle's production, the extraction and processing of raw materials, and the electricity generation that powers the vehicle. These emissions aren't always immediately apparent or directly tied to the vehicle, hence they're labeled indirect. But, they are undeniably present and can be quite substantial. Take, for example, battery production for electric vehicles, which demands a significant amount of energy, often sourced from fossil fuels, thus leading to substantial indirect emissions. Grasping the concept of indirect emissions brings us a step closer to understanding the genuine environmental impact of electric vehicles. They may lack tailpipe emissions, but a comprehensive view might reveal that they aren't as wholly green as they appear at first glance. Remember, indirect emissions refer to the emissions resulting from the entire life cycle of the vehicle, not just the tailpipe. One of the key components of an EV is the battery, which requires rare earth metals like lithium, cobalt, and nickel. These specific substances are not arbitrarily selected. They are chosen because of their distinct properties that make them perfect for the high energy output that electric vehicles demand. But the acquisition of these substances isn't as simple as it seems. Their extraction, via a mining process, is enormously energy consuming, requiring large, technologically advanced machinery that consumes a significant amount of power. Along with the environmental cost, this mining process raises several ethical concerns as well. These range from labor law violations to exploitation of workers in underdeveloped countries. Moreover, the procedure often results in substantial environmental harm, leading to deforestation, soil erosion, and water contamination. Despite the gravity of these issues, they often go unnoticed, due to the surging demand for electric vehicles in the pursuit of sustainable transportation. Thus, let's take a closer look at the energy-intensive and ethically complicated mining process for these metals. Lithium production is a major part of EV battery production. But did you know it requires an estimated 600,000 gallons of water for just one ton? This is an astonishing figure given the dwindling water resources in many parts of our planet. The process doesn't stop at just guzzling enormous amounts of water, it brings another peril with it. This has to do with the hazardous chemicals that are employed in the mining and refining of lithium. Often handled without adequate safety measures, these chemicals can lead to serious pollution. The pollution from lithium production is far-reaching, affecting both the air we inhale and the water we consume. The fouling of the air could cause a myriad of respiratory illnesses in local communities. Even more alarming perhaps is the harm inflicted on local water sources. This not only jeopardizes human well-being but also disturbs local ecosystems, adding another layer of environmental worry to lithium production. The harmful chemicals used in the process can also pollute both the air and local water bodies. The carbon footprint of producing an 80 kilowatt hour battery can range from 2.5 tons to over 17.5 tons. That's a lot of carbon. To help you understand the sheer scale of this footprint, let's picture the majestic African elephant. With an adult elephant weighing between 2.5 to a remarkable 7 tons, envision three of these magnificent beasts standing shoulder to shoulder. The combined weight of these creatures is analogous to the potential environmental impact of producing just a single battery. This comparison is not to be taken lightly. It serves as a stark and alarming illustration compelling us to question the ecological price we pay for our technological advancements. That's equivalent to around three African elephants. While EVs themselves don't emit greenhouse gases, the electricity they use often does. Let's explore this further. A prevalent misapprehension suggests that electric cars are entirely green, but it's important not to overlook the electricity that powers them. As it currently stands, a modest share of our planet's energy production comes from renewable resources. 
The major energy source in numerous regions continues to be fossil fuels, encompassing coal, natural gas, and various other non-renewable resources. As we recharge our electric cars, the electricity flowing into them is typically derived from these sources. This signifies that while the cars don't produce emissions, the process of creating the electricity they consume indeed does. Consequently, electric vehicles might indirectly be part of greenhouse gas emissions. Regrettably, in many global regions, this electricity is still derived from fossil fuels. In conclusion, while electric vehicles EVs, promise a greener future, the production and operation of these vehicles paint a different picture. Let's weigh the pros and cons. Undeniably the idea of roads filled with serene, emission-free vehicles is compelling to many, however the reality can be somewhat different as present technology contributes significantly to the environmental burden during the manufacture of their sizable lithium and cobalt-based batteries. This process not only consumes a massive amount of energy but also leads to a substantial carbon footprint. Moreover, it raises ethical concerns pertaining to mining operations in and regions like the Democratic Republic of Congo. Besides, it's critical to remember that even though electric cars don't directly emit carbon dioxide, the electricity used to charge them usually does, particularly in countries where the power supply primarily comes from coal and gas. When we take into account these factors, the true environmental cost of EVs comes to light. This doesn't necessarily mean we should stop pursuing cleaner modes of transport. Instead, it's a call to action for a more thorough understanding of what going green really involves. Remember, knowledge is power. And armed with this power, we can make genuinely sustainable choices. Before making the leap to an electric vehicle, take into account the complete scenario and ensure your decisions mirror the actual environmental cost involved.